one other anecdote I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with as far as underestimating, overestimating and underestimating. I had a good conversation recently with a, a principal of a local private school and in a prior life she was a in the city of Boston and she had been asked to take over a very poorly performing school and, and she told me that in three years she turned it around. And you know, it sounds like looking back, you know, 20 years ago, that sounds like, wow, only three years she turned it around. Magic. Wow, that really quick, you know. But think about going through those three years. I mean, think right now, you know, May 17th, 2017. You know, when you look at, think of well, all the way till May 17th, 2020, I mean, that's a long time. I mean, it flies by, of course, like all time does, but that is a long time. When she was going through that change and making the difficult choices and getting rid of teachers that didn't fit, bringing in better teachers that might fit here, there, or students she had to talk to, or parent conversations, all those difficult, small things you have to do incrementally day to day. You know, maybe she, maybe there were times where she felt a little frustrated and she, maybe she underestimated what she might accomplish over the long term. But you know what? In three years, she had it turned around. So she was able to stick with it and had the attitude to do that. Um, in this case, same thing with you, whatever it is, whether you're, you know, whether it's your own business, whether you are trying to turn around a school, whether you are, um, you know, trying to, um, uh, you know, whatever you're trying to do, <laughs> gosh, could be anything, trying to lose weight, trying to eat better. Just talking to a good friend of mine. He said, you know, I'm, I'm this week, I'm just focusing on cleaning up how I'm eating. I don't want to give my too much stress on myself for that. Excellent. He says, next week, I'll start exercising again. That's good, you know, one thing, and he's doing that this week. So incremental. Don't overestimate what you can do in the short term because you'll be frustrated. But also don't underestimate what you can do in the long term. And for business, long term, or, or professional, that might only be two to three years or less. And for health, definitely a year or less. So really long term is long term in our mind, but it's really not that long. So take that attitude to heart. Don't overestimate what you can do in the short term. But also, don't underestimate what you can do in the long term. Remember, 80-20, make it happen. Hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching. If I have any questions I can answer, anything you want to chat about, discussions, you want to share how you're doing, uh, you're not overestimating or underestimating, how you're 80-20, please let me know. Look forward to hearing from you guys. Have a great day.